I have locked the door. We have much work to do. So, I appreciate you taking your time. I know you're very busy. Very, very, very busy. I'm not worthy of all this much time from you. But I do appreciate it. I appreciate it more than you will ever know. However, your new summer home is almost complete. Yes, I know. I know we are completing a summer home in fall. We are that ahead of schedule. And that is why I need your opinions on a few things. Well, you know me. Tatiana knows that you are very, very particular in choosing the uh, design that goes into the finishing touches of your summer homes that are scattered across all of the top countries and vacation spots all across the globe, the world. So, because this is your 10th summer home, I figured that you would really want to know what sort of design is going into it. Because this is not just any summer home. This is not your 7th summer home. This is not your 4th summer home. This is your 10th summer home. So today we are doing some blinds. Blinds and shades. Blinds, shades, and a little bit of a power stream. Okay. So, there are a few rooms that I was not sure what you wanted. Let me take a look here. Okay. I pull up the room. The first is the most important room. It's the master bedroom. This is where you will stay when you will want to stay. We will have three master bedrooms. That way, whoever is staying there will feel like the most important person in the world, even though that most important person is you. For the first master bedroom, we can go with a roller shade. Now the roller shade, you know, you're very smart, but let me remind you, the roller shade has a roll at the top, and then the shade is pulled down very flat, very sleek, very nice. We can do a cellular shade. Now the cellular shade, this is like the uh, honeycomb, honeycomb shade, and this will insulate your room, make it a little bit warmer. It will trap the air, mm, light filtering, a little bit more light blocking if you want it to be very dark, but we can add that no matter what we use. We can also do the Roman shades. Now the Roman shades are very luxurious. They pull down flat and when you push them up, they sort of gather very nicely. We also have the pleated shades and the pleated shades, uh, they are pleated. You know what that means. I will not insult you by describing what that is. Okay, now personally, I know you uh, value my opinion. I do think that you should be going with the Roman shades in your master bedroom. I think that it is not really typically a master bedroom type, um, but I think that is exactly why we need to put it in the master bedroom. It is bold, different, just like you. Now for the Roman shades, we do have three options. Since you decided to go with a more silver, grey tone, cool tone setting for the master bedroom number one, I picked three Roman shades that would go perfectly with all of the furniture that's going in there. Let me show you what I have. This is Oceana. Oceana, and you can see why they gave it such a name. Look at the texture. It looks like ocean waves, a beautiful grey ocean. Like when we are on the yacht and the storm is rolling in. But we will beat the storm because you have the fastest yacht on all of the seas. This grey ocean texture fabric. This would make a beautiful addition to the room. Beautiful addition. What do you think? We will show you the next one. This next one I think you will very much like. It's bold. Now this is Madrid. Madrid. 
This is a very bold pattern. It is. Big print, swears, points, details. Very thick. It keeps you warm at night, not as you need it. You will have a fireplace or two. What do you think about Madrid? I know you'd like this one. Very good. I'll show you the last one too. Now this one is a little more subdued, I will not lie to you. Uh, it might be a little out of fashion, but I figure I'll show it to you anyway. This is ballet. Ballet. Reminds me of the 17 years I took ballet. I almost went professional, but you know, we are here, we are there. Okay, Let's see. Beautiful. But like I said, a little bit more on the subtle side. You are thinking Madrid. Oceana is beautiful. We might use it for something else. We might use it for something else. But I will take Madrid and I will make that order. Done. Very good. Next, we want to figure out uh, what uh, shades you are doing for your pool house. Now, the pool house is... um. It's almost finished. We are doing a little bit of a tropical theme, of course. I know you like tropical themes. So I think for this one, we do a wood shade. Now this wood shade will uh, really bring out and define the theme that we have going here. Let me show you the options for the pool house. Now this is an espresso wood blind. As you can see, very dark. Meh, perhaps a bit too dark for the pool. But I chose a variety of colors. I wanted to show you each option. Very lightweight, easy to clean. Get a little bit dusty? I take care of it. Do not worry about that. I never want you to worry about the upkeep or the things that will last too long or not long enough. I will take care of it. You pick what you like. That is the most important thing. That you like it. That you love it. That you have no regrets in life. That is what I want for you. Espresso. And next we have this more bamboo style. Now this has bamboo in the middle and rope. Rope, rope. Accents. So you get two textures here. You can see it's held together by this string. I can maybe point it out for you here. You have the bamboo panels, you have the rope, little bit of a detail here and a string down here. This one is very interesting. I like this one very much. I think it's very pretty. You can see the movement is fantastic. Oh yes, very limber. Yes, that reminds me I must reschedule your yoga kayak practice session. Done. Okay. Thank you for reminding me and I apologize for my incompetence. You think this one might be a bit too much? Okay. I respect your opinion above any other. It will never be seen again. Let me show you the next ones and not waste your time. And now this one. This one is Fiji Walnut. Fiji Walnut. This one is very beautiful, very beautiful wood. I do not think you can go wrong with this one. I believe this is the similar one. This is the brother, the cousin to the one we used in your summer home number five. Mm -hmm. And now it's not exactly the same because summer home number five is currently being redone. Uh, since it's a little out of date, about two years old already. Oh, so. We have this Fiji walnut. You like this one? Me too. But if I may, I want to show you one more. Now this one is beautiful. This is Catalina Sea Salt. White wooden shades. And I think, if I may be so bold, is the correct option for tying together the 
themes in the room. Yes, you will love it. I can see it in your eyes. You love this one. I agree. You know, we've done this so many times. This, this is new. This is fresh. Okay. I think we'll have to go with this one. I'll write it down. Done. Okay. So master bedroom number one, complete. Pool house, complete. Next we uh, we do your uh, movie room. Your movie room, it'll have arcade in the back, a little bar, bar or two, I think one wet bar, one dry bar, uh, many couches, neon lights, whatever you desire. That one is coming together swimmingly. Now for this one, we want to do a roller shade. We do a roller shade because it gets out of the way when we don't need it. And we want this room to get very dark if we want it to get very dark. Nobody wants to watch a movie when there's light coming in. So I have some very dense fabrics here for the roller shades. The first one. And these will all be supplemented by a blackout shade behind them. Is the latent oyster. Oyster. I feel like it was reminiscent of your favorite appetite. We will be serving lots of oysters in this one. What do you think? It's form, but playful at the same time, I agree. Very apt, very apt. You are so smart, you are a genius. Now I raise oyster by this very interesting chili pepper. Chili pepper color. Now, I thought that this might bring the mood more in the direction that you will be using the room for. What do you think? You are unsure about the red? Okay. You know, I, I can completely understand that. It. It's very bold, very bright. But let me remind you. So are you. What do you think? Perfect. Let's do it. I will write that down. Done. Now as we move through the movie arcade bar room, you will be going to the guest bathroom. Now the guest bathroom has jacuzzi. It has a three sinks. It has the big chandelier that you've ordered from France. So I figured you would not want the roller shades in there to be embarrassing. You want them to match the luxury. So for that I have two options here. Now the first one is called Highland Birch. This has a lot of texture, a lot of color, a lot of interesting design going on here. What do you think? This has little hints of blue. Which I know you enjoy. A little bit of tan, brown, white, navy. Never all the way dark. That would be a little bit too overwhelming with the neutral shade that we are going for. Okay. I see. Perhaps something a bit lighter. I can go all the way with this. You can feel the texture, please. Place your hand there. Yes. Perfect. You can feel. And now this is mm, ballet. Brilliant texture. And this. This is very interesting choice. What this will do is reflect the light and make it shine in the guest bathroom. Very flattering for taking pictures. And we want every room in your summer home to look beautiful. Perfect when it's photographed. And when you are photographed in there, not that we'll be taking your photo in the bathroom, that would be. But if you wanted to, we could. You like this one. I like this one as well. I think we put this down for the guess done. Now, moving on. 
we are trying to decide on the, the final ruler shades that will be um, in the kitchen area now the kitchen this is going to have all of your favorite appliances uh, completely stacked cupboards of course at all times now we did go a little bit more neutral for this one as well uh, I think that I wanted to bring back uh, the very very popular oyster color but also I recommend pearl pearl this very beautiful pearl so one has texture one has print and texture texture print and texture texture print and texture so this one I believe uh, you cannot go wrong they're both going to look stunning you won't spend too much time in the kitchen but if you are walking through I don't want you to be embarrassed of the blinds that are on the windows okay I see what you're saying it has a little bit of a golden shimmer when you turn it left and right and for that I think you are correct in picking this one indeed you have a very keen eye but we already knew that it didn't it never hurts to remind you. Done. We are going through these at a, such a good rate. I did not want to waste too much of your time today. So I put this aside. And let us continue on. Next we have your trophy room. Now, the trophy room we want it to look very luxurious we want to bring pride and, you know we also don't want to detract from all your awards, trophies, honorable plaques and things so I think that I wanted to go with a ruler shade for this or may I suggest a pleated shade and there's two options here we could go with this roller shade and this is in the color ash just like you rising from the ashes like a phoenix I figured this might be appropriate for showing off all of your achievements in life so many to count that you have to buy many many houses to fill them all many rooms and not enough to hold all of your trophies awards achievements I like this color very nice the texture is subtle but very good but similar pleated shade this is a light wool this is Cairo I want you to meet Cairo and give it your best look overall here we go let's see Oh, I see that I have gotten your interest. That is exactly what I like to see. It keeps my days going. It gives me purpose in life to see you excited at something. What do you think about the Cairo? It's got some very dark black specks. It looks beautiful, wonderful, stunning. And the pleated curtain, you know, when you pull it up a little bit. Not that we will ever really be opening this shade because we do not want to damage your achievements and your beautiful trophies with sun damage. We will instead put a, a natural looking light in the room, place down at your achievements so that they will sparkle and shine just exactly as you know we intend them to. But I think you're right. This one is very good. You can feel it. It is a winner. It feels like it. Okay. I put that one down. Done. Moving on. We have to figure out the master bedroom number two and three. So I think we do pleated shades for them as well. 
the first one I have for Master Bedroom 2, which is going to have uh, the theme that you requested. It's picking a linen shade. A linen shade that would make it look very fresh, light, natural. Like you are waking up from the best dream you've ever had in your life every time. But only to discover your life is even better than the best dream that you could possibly have. And that is what this evokes to me. And this is very, very, very nice. I can show you the other one I'm thinking for this room. Now this fabric is a bit different. I will show you. This is Crush Snow. This is not a linen. It's a bit more paper-like. Again. Bring a smile to my face. Very dreamy, very fresh, very light. I think the only true option is the linen one, and I know that you agree, so I will stop wasting your time. However, I will put this in the archive so that we can use it on summer home number 11. It's not time for it yet, but it will be soon. Okay, so we do that for master bedroom number two. That was a very easy choice, but the master bedroom number three. I'm afraid you're going to have a bit of a harder time for master bedroom number three. I know you want to do a cellular shade. This is going to evoke the dark, intimate feeling that you want. The design that went into master bedroom number three you can only have cellular shade. Now, you see what I call it? Honeycomb shade. We have many options. One, two, three, four, five. So, this first one. This is what we call... Uh, okay. This is the Smart Self 2 Light Filtering 3 for Warm Go. So you will get a little bit of light. We don't want it to be completely dark, or do we? No, 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 okay. What do you think about this one? The fabric on all of these is very nice, it's very soft, but a little bit intimidating. Like this one. But let me show you the other. This, yes, I see. This is very, very good as well. What is the comparison? Look, comparison, completely different. But I know that you could make the right choice. We have cool and we have warm. Cool and warm, cool and warm. Cool and warm. So that's difficult, but I'll show you what else we have. Now this is even a deeper color, deeper and darker. Which I think it might enjoy. What do you think about this one? This is a prestige too. Prestige. Prestige. So we have the deepest middle and lightest, but the lightest will put more cool color. So how far? You're not sure. Let me show you the last one of this color. This is a dark and cool, almost a charcoal color. Yes, this is very good. I believe, I, I think we should go with uh, yeah, this or this. You are leaning towards the cool colors as well. I'm sorry for making the choice difficult. You think? I think you are correct. Yes. Perfect. Wonderful decision. Very good. And that is done. Done. The only other option we have here. I'm not sure if uh, I should even show you. This complete blackout. Blackout. 
now you can see on the on the inside completely reflective silver and this will ensure that there is no light at all no light at all coming into master bedroom number three what do you think you can change the color on the front if you hate it you hate it i can see that you hate it go rid of that but if you want it to be complete blackout you just let me know I think we are doing quite well we do have to figure out uh, your gym I know that you like to work out a lot so I know that you have personal trainer living in uh, summer home number 10 just in case that you want to take a little class uh, while during your stay at vacation home number 10 so they will be living there from now on so for the gym and for the personal trainers room a few options here I do think we should do a pleated shade okay now for the gym we have two options here now the uh, fabric choice that they chose with this does not show that it is pleated but trust me it is pleated this is a shadow white linen fabric it's not perfectly but it's shadow white which I thought you might enjoy in your gym or we can go with powder powder is very nice it has a little bit more texture it has lines going down and across down and across to give it a little bit more um, interest something to you know spruce up the place i think what we could do is put this in the gym and this in the trainer's room i want it to be bright you know i like it let's do it perfect okay we are done with the blinds very proud of you thank you very much for all of your help again i'm so sorry to take up your precious time we do have one more thing to do and that is decide the upholstery of the giant couch that will be arriving i think uh is next tuesday so i have a few fabric samples for you and then we want to go down the brown warm route here so let me show you this first one it's a beautiful fabric i show it to you first because it is one of my favorites go ahead and feel it if you wish it has a very nice subtle print here a bit of a heavy weight to it but not too heavy this is your summer home after all you like this one me too we hold on to it but of course it would be insulting for me not to show you the rest of the options here next we have this beautiful color this is more of a cool brown hint of gray in it the fabric is a bit heavy for summer i must admit but we can set the temperature inside the summer home to whatever suits you best very soft very luxurious the back of the fabric you can see but we will not be seeing it on the couch i will not show you yes i, I agree i agree let's continue on we have this would be not for the couch but maybe for the armchair yes the armchair it's a very light fabric but it ties with some very beautiful colors we have a nice coral sage golden orange 
darker scarlet, beautiful greens. I think this is what we do for the chair that's going on this side, but I think that it must match the couch, which might give us a bit of trouble here. How about this one? Very similar to this, but when you look at them together, not so similar at all. But you can see they are related cousins. This one is nice, but uh, I must warn you, we did use this fabric for a chair in summer home number eight. So you might want to, you know, not choose it just in case somebody notices. I will always warn you, just in case. Will not use this one. Okay, so the final option. And this one is very nice. You might enjoy this quite a bit. And this beautiful burnt orangey color. What I like about this is it goes very well with the armchair. Very well. I also very much enjoy the texture. Heavy, but not too heavy. Appropriate for the summer home. I think we have found ourselves a winner. Perfect. Let me go ahead and make sure that everything is correct with the fabrics that we chose. shades. They should all be fine because I get them from my special source. Well, my alarm just went off on my phone. You must start getting ready for your interview. I know it is your third one today, but everybody wants to talk to you. And I do not blame them. This has been the highlight of my day. No, my week. No, my year. And I thank you very much for sitting down with me and helping me choose. Very excited to unveil your summer home number 10. The party will be magnificent. Very good. Well, off we go to your interview. Follow me.